Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make the name Susan with a pair of pliers. So I have about a 12 to 15 inch piece of wire to do the name Susan. So we're just going to bring this down here to start the top loop. Bring this straight back up, and then we're not going to touch that one for a little bit. We're just going to leave it there and we'll form the S. So we're going to bring that around and then bring this one and this too you can just kind of adjust it a little bit how you have how you need to and so that's going to be the s for susan and then we're going to bend that to the back try to alternate bending front and back it just also depends on which letter you're doing and what seems suitable for that letter so here we have the s and then we're going to start the U. So we're going to take this, bring this up. And then for the U, we want to bend this to the front. Bend it down. And then we can sort of start the U with the small pliers. But if you want a larger loop, use your bigger round pliers. Or the end of a pen would work too. And sometimes you have to wiggle it back and forth to get it like in place and to get it the right shape that you want. So it does take a little wiggling sometime though. So there's you and we'll bring this down and then we're going to do the cur the little S in cursive. So we're going to bring this one up here, up here a little bit. Sometimes you have to just little wiggle it a little more. And then we're going to bend this to the front for the cursive S. So just bend it to the front and then take this and push it out and in. So that makes sort of a cursive looking S thing. And then we're gonna take this to the back. Again, alternating front to back as it sees fit and then bring that across. And now the A, so for the A, we're gonna do the circle, but to the back, I'm gonna bring it around to the back there we go. Bring it straight up and then to the front, over to the front. You have to really push this with your, f with your finger to make sure it stays lined up and over top there. And then we're going to bring this, switch back to the other pliers, and we're going to do the N. So a lot of you know my favorite hack for the M and the N is I like to do a little loop here. So a little tiny loop just gives it a little bit of definition and you start it with the pliers, the round pliers, but because you want this really super tiny, you actually hold this gently. You could even hold it with the flat pliers if you're afraid of damaging the wire and then pull it, give it a pull. So that's ends up being really tiny. So we're going to bring that down here and form the end. And then you might have to make it a little bit bigger, but that's pretty cool. The a ended up being a little bit big, but it's all right. So we're going to bring it around here. So there's Susan, super nice. And we're going to hold that in place. And then what we want to do is because you're going to want to uh, hang a jump ring from the top from the S. So what you could actually do for that is if you want to just make it a little more flat, you could just bring it you could even kind of twist it and have it like that. And then you're going to be able to hang a jump ring in there. So however you want to end it up is fine. You could even bring it up here and do another loop up there if you want. But I think it's not super necessary. So let's just end it here. Okay. And give it a little pinch. There we go. And then you're going to do put a jump ring in there. It looks kind of cute. And then for the pliers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this wire. I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to actually form a little circle where the uh, sort of the spring of the pliers is going to be. So I'm going to bring this up here and you want to make sure the hole is big enough that we're going to be able to put a wire through it. So we're going to bring this up here. Actually, I want it to be this way. I'm just going to flip it around. So we're actually going to do the, the turn sort of to the left there. So we're going to take this here and just do a little bend. So that's going to be kind of one end of the pliers. And then we're going to bring this one up. Okay, like that. So that's going to be another part of the pliers. And then 
could be kind of like that. And then we're going to bend this and we will be able to put a jump ring in there as well for the necklace. So we're going to bring that down and then we want to make another loop here. So we're going to bring another loop. So it ends up being like a little bit like a spring. Bring this down and then we want to form like the other end of the pliers here. So we're just going to take this and we want to make sort of like a handle-ish looking thing. So we're just going to take this and actually probably it should be a little more curved if you really want it to look plier-ish. So we're going to bring that down on a curve and then bring that one up here. So we probably should have done the same with this one. I'm going to just bring that up here and make it a little bit curved. So it's going to look a bit the same. And then we're going to bring this one up here and here. And then what I want to do is actually stick this wire through those little loops. So it's going to be like a little kind of a, a little spring thing. And I want to trim this a little bit because it's a little too long, but I don't want to trim too much because I need to, an end to finish it with. So we're going to pull it back and it's tricky to see, but I'm actually going to go through those two loops. Okay, we're just going through those two loops. I'm going to bring this through here. Try not to distort it. So that went through there. It's not too bad. And pull it tightly and then bend this down. Okay, bend it down here. And we can even bring this to the front. Okay, we could bring it around to the front and bring this down. And then we have to kind of finish it in place, right? That's pretty cute. It actually looks like pliers. <laughs> I'm super surprised. So we're going to bring it down here and then twist this to the back here. I'm just going to cut this quite flush here. Just give it a little pinch in there and then bring it around. And there you have, it's actually super cute. Susan with her little pliers. So there you go. It's super cute and you can put a little jump ring there and a jump ring there for a necklace. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.